What's going on, my horror friends? This is Tommy Knocker, the horror guy, coming at you. And today, I'm doing an episode of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, normally, I do it on movies, especially Friday the 13th movies, Halloween movies. But today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do an episode on Friday the 13th, the video game. Yes, from Gun Media, not the Nintendo game. That's a whole separate video I should do someday. But, um,. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's almost 30 years before we got a proper Friday the 13th video game. For me, I waited a long time. When I was a kid, I brought home Friday the 13th video game for Nintendo. You know, my parents, I saved up some money. Uh, I remember them buying me this game. It was $50, $60 then. And I'm not going to lie, it broke my heart. I hated it. I like it now. It's fun now. It's a cult classic. It's, it's fun, but... Nah, when you're 12, 13 years old and you saved up money and then you put in that and you get a purple fucking Jason, it pissed you off. I didn't know what to expect as a kid playing this. I didn't know if there were going to be more like real characters from the video game. You got to play as Jason. There was just, you weren't fighting wolves and crows and zombies. I didn't know what to expect, but it felt more like the Goonies too. If you ever played the Goonies game, that's what it felt like, which is fine, but not gonna lie, this game, that game broke my heart. So it was almost 30 years before we got another game. And then Gun Media announced this, and you would see like stills and pictures on, on social media and stuff. I was pumped. I was pumped. You could tell that Gun Media, the guys that made this, are fans of the franchise. This is my favorite franchise. Not just horror. This is probably my favorite franchise of all time. So I was excited to get a new video game. You know, so I'm going at this as a fan, guys. I'm not a video gamer. I'm not a gamer at all. Like I stick to this game, a few games here and there. Um, Evil Dead. I played Evil Dead a little bit. Uh, zombie games like you know Dead Rising, basketball games, some wrestling games here and there. But that's really it. I'm not coming at this as a gamer. I'm coming at this as a Friday the Thirteenth movie fan and how the game, uh, what it did for me as a fan. You know. So I'm going to go over the good things, the bad things, and the one ugly thing about this video game. If you know anything about this video game and the franchise and some of the stuff that happened behind the scenes, I think you know where I'm going with this. But um, yeah, so here we go. The good things about Friday the 13th video game. Um, I love the Easter eggs. There's a lot. I'm not going to name every single one, but there are a few here that you catch, you know. Um, the red doors, that's it, very uh, reminiscent from the first Friday the 13th movie, the famous red doors. You'll see like yellow, uh, rain jackets, you know, hanging from the walls. That's also very famous in the first one, the yellow, the red, the bright red doors. Um, you can get like from Friday the 13th Pinehurst map, remember from part five, the Tina's death, where she, the, her and her boyfriend are laying on the towel near the water and they get murdered that's there like little shit like little details like that show you that they care they put time and effort into it for the fans i appreciate it i love it i love little shit like that there's so many easter eggs the um the teddy bear teddy's teddy bear there's there's so many so so many so easter eggs in the video game it, i love it and the cabin the virtual cabin is it's easter eggs galore uh, it's it's amazing i just wish you know more franchises hopefully the texas chainsaw game that comes out in august is going to be like they put some time and effort into that too for the fans i don't have a lot of love for that franchise as much as i do this so there's going to be a lot of easter eggs in that i imagine but it's probably going to go past me because i'm not that big of a fan i'm also excited for killer clowns that that video game that i'm more excited for the killer clowns game than texas no joke but uh it's gonna be fun another good thing i like about the game is the accurate maps the maps are pretty damn good i don't care small or big i have no complaints when it comes to the accuracy now that i rewatch the friday 13th movies i'm always now i'm comparing what they look like in the in the movie to the game and how well they got it so close pack a knack map is my favorite map most people are jarvis map the house with the blue house the kids were staying at it is so accurate it's not even funny um crystal lake you know higgins haven you can't the maps are, are gold they really are i, I can't no complaints um i just wish now this is kind of getting ahead of myself because of you know what the ugly is going to be but i just wish we had more maps but it's not their fault i really really wanted a part six map camp crystal green map 
You know what I mean? Yeah, it's Crystal Lake all over again, but it's, it's totally different. You could include, uh, you can even have the campground area where Quartz RV was. You could have that. You could have this, the little, uh, the police station. You could, you could, there's a lot of things you could have done, and they just didn't have the chance to do it, and that's too bad. Um, there's talk of a new game. I don't, I don't think Gun Media is doing it. It's a whole new, whole new company, but, uh, who knows? Who knows at this point? I'm not holding me a breath for anything. Uh, another good thing is the Jasons. Kane Hodder came back as uh, Jason for, you know, the animation. Um, Jason's skins are, like, again, I don't have any complaints. His face, uh, you can see his face, and they're very accurate to the movie. Uh, they even threw in some other things, like the purple retro Nintendo Jason. I love that decision. I think his music, by the way, is the scariest in the game. When you're hiding or you're trying to run and you hear that retro Nintendo, whatever you want to call it, music from the Purple Jason, there's something that's kind of fun. It's funny, but it's also terrifying. Also, but um, the Savini Jason, yeah, that's that's a lot of people's favorite. And that was a downloadable thing that Savini made for, for the fans and for the game. Yep, I never had an opportunity to play as Savini Jason. I'm not, I wasn't that into it, but... um. Yeah, the, all the different Jasons you can be, every single one, bravo, just bravo. And and, and it just, uh, you couldn't be the other ones, you couldn't be retro, uh, Reboot Jason yet, you couldn't be Jason versus Freddy one. So they're not all there, unfortunately, but the most important ones are, that's all that matters. Um, and you have real characters, another good thing, the real characters, a little mixed with made-up counselors, but even the made-up counselors are based on, most of them are based on real characters in the, in the movie. You know, you have Jenny, who is um, who's Chris Higgins, you have Chris Higgins, you also have Tommy Jarvis in the game, you have Fox, you have Shelly, you know, you have the hippie Cheech guy from Part 3, he's in it, but even the other characters, um, like she's supposed to be um from part seven the new blood uh what's her name the bitchy girl she's in it um yeah yeah, yeah. almost every, almost every character is based aj the the girl from part five they say it's kind of a mix between um the punk girl from part five and the guitar girl from part eight kind of like a little mash there i love it i absolutely love it i just wish we could have gotten more characters and uh, I'll get that to the bad, I guess. It's that's not their fault. Um, the music, every the the Harry Manfredi did the score, the music for this. You know, every every Jason um, from that from that movie has that theme. You know, if you have a part two Jason or a part three or four, and then Jason's coming near you, you you hear his music. The only thing I wish is uh, when even when you play as Jason, um, I wish you could still hear the music. You hear the basic music when you're Jason and you're getting the counselors. I kind of wish you would still hear that music, though, but that's okay. And I have Xbox One, so I don't know if anything that I say uh, from the other versions is different from my Xbox One. I've never played uh, Friday the 13th for the other consoles, so I don't know if things are different. I'm just going by my Xbox One, guys. That's that's all I'm doing. Um, but I like the music. Hey, man, for your score, gold. Um... And the last good thing I love about this game is the kills. You have a mix of really original kills with the iconic kills. Like the sleeping bag kill, of course. Yep. And then you play the... Uh, you can have the other games where... Online game. What do you call those offline games? You can earn points. Um, story mode. You can do like a story mode. And you can do it the tent kill. It's a little different. It's a little different um, than the one from Part 9, Jason Goes to Hell. You do have a tent kill on that. It's not as graphic, but it's still pretty impressive. This game I, I, this game brought it for me. It's not perfect. It's not. But let's get to that. Let's get to the bad. Let's get to the bad stuff. First bad thing, guys. People quitting. It, it's, it's, it's an online game. It's going to happen. People are going to quit. I just wish that every time Jason... Whoever he is, Jason is the host. The, the chances of Jason quitting is less than just like the host person quitting if you're the counselor. That you you just used to it. After playing this for six years, it's nothing new. It really isn't. But that's the part of the game that sucks is people will quit on you. So it sucks. I don't know why people can just. And, and here's another thing, a uh, bad thing. And this is I think this could help maybe. 
the, the, the people quitting. So it's a 20 minute game. Like you're in it for 20 minutes. Just try to outlast it. I think you should shorten that a little bit. Shorten to like maybe 15. You know what I mean? So, because if the host gets killed right away or or early in the game, they, they have to sit and watch unless they get Tommy. Um, but they have to commit. You've got to commit to this game. So if the game was maybe 15 minutes, I think it would be as bad. You know what I mean? For the host to wait around and I don't know. But 20 minutes is a little long, I think. Uh, another bad thing is it's glitchy. There's a lot of glitches that, and that never really got fixed. But now it's part of the charm. What is that? You know, because whoever's the host you're playing, you know, if their internet is shit, it's going to be a shit game. You got to get used to that too. But it's very clunky. It's very glitchy. Um, that, this is something I get used to. It's not a perfect game. It's, it's really not. Um... But some of the glitches are iconic, like they used to do. Like the big-sized uh, weapons. And uh, sometimes if you kill somebody, like their body sinks into the ground. Actually, that was kind of badass and creepy. A lot of times after Jason would kill somebody, and like say they're in the ground, like their body would sink into the ground and their head would be sticking out. I mean, that's uh, that's kind of that's cool. Um, but you could go to YouTube and just put in funny Friday 13th game, and it's, it's a goldmine of videos of just glitches and funny things that happen in the game it's it's a riot you can have a good time um so i said more maps that's not their fault you know they had to stop they couldn't do any more but can you imagine a part six map camp for a screen um they did have the lazarus part eight map all lined up you could you know they did the, the online thing where you could um beta whatever it's called they had it planned it just they couldn't through it and then uh i think it was last summer a couple summers ago they even had the spaceship you know the spaceship from part um from jason x that whole thing um th there was a lot of you could you probably could have had freddy versus jason map in there you could have had the reboot there's there was many other possibilities uh i was more excited about the part six map uh camp forest green that's the one i wanted but can you imagine like in the right in the, it takes place in the grave and then and then cemetery in the beginning with the fog and everything and Tommy's truck. There's there's a lot of possibilities. Um so I again with the they couldn't do a lot, they had to stop. I wanted more characters, real characters. I love the characters they put in the game, but I think even some more choices, like when you call the radio and you can get Tommy Jarvis to come down, right? What if you had a choice? What if you had different choices of, like, enforcers other than Tommy Jarvis? What if there was, like, Tina? And yes, you do have some of her powers. You know what I mean? Um, Creighton Duke. I thought he would be a good enforcer. You know, someone to call. Um, also, I thought that this would be cool. You know, when the cops show up after the cops are called, and then you see the cop's car there at the you know, the exit. What if... He's not a playable character, but what if he's just standing there with a gun... Waiting for you to go past him so you're so you're safe. What if it was Sheriff Garris? What if he was just like the character of Sheriff Garris there by the cop car with his shotgun pointing, you know, just in case Jason shows up? Come on, man. That would have been kind of cool. Just my opinion. And other characters would be cool. Can you imagine, like, Demon or Jimmy? I mean, the possibilities are endless, but... I like the characters that he gave us, especially La Chapa. He's my fave. He's absolutely my fave, but... Kind of have a mix of made up characters with the real characters but just a little bit more you know um and i said the 20 minutes is too long absolutely so let's get down to the ugly and we already know i've already kind of touched on it it's the lawsuit the ugly is the lawsuit and the game just it is what it is um it had to stop you couldn't have any more characters you couldn't have any more maps and then they just gave up, said, fuck it, we're tired of this, you know? So they went on to Greener Pastures. They're going to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre and and other things like that. Um, I still play this game to this day. I play it every day. I got this game six years ago at launch. This came out, I think, what, June of 2017? And I play it almost every day since. Uh, there's something... It's just... I'm a Friday 13th guy. Uh, and this really makes me want to watch the movies all over again seriously the maps the music it does a good job it does a great job of getting the atmosphere the feel of the franchise 
It is. I'm looking at it as a movie fan, not as a gamer. So if you're a gamer, you probably you probably you're looking at this way different than I am, and I understand that. But it's a fun game, and you won't be able to buy it anymore. I think after this year, and um, the whole online thing, and it's it's, it's going to be sad. I'm not going to be. I'm not probably next year. I'm not going to play it as much. It's going to be. It's just not going to be the same and the sad. But there you go. Have it, guys. There's my Friday 13th. The good, the bad, and the ugly on the video game. Go get Texas Chainsaw Massacre next month. I think it'll be fun. Um, definitely going to buy that. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Maybe I'll do Killer Clowns. I'm really excited about that. So, all right. There you have it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Stab that notification bell. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Okay. Enjoy your summer.